I have been aware for a few years, like probably all the faculty on campus of uh, OER, their existence, and um, some of the really obvious reasons that they're good, they reduce student costs, that sort of thing. Um, and when I needed to make changes because of the pandemic, um, I was already in a place where I had many of my in-class face-to-face uh, activities supported not only by a textbook, but also by activities that I had written myself. Um, and now I needed to move that into a remote mode, right? So, um, so it seemed like it was, um, it was kind of a moment that showed up for me where moving that into the online environment also gave me the opportunity to move it into an open online environment. Once I started playing around, I connected with some really neat um, other folks who were doing OER stuff and were super excited about the development of OERs into more interactive forms. So um, I became aware of what's going on at the University of British Columbia and um, also some other faculty around the country who are on social media and talking about how they use OERs to teach differently. Faculty are finding ways to sort of expand on the idea of the open educational resource, the textbook, and um, open up their classes so that student feedback and student contributions can be incorporated into course materials. Pressbooks also interfaces really nice, nicely with something called Hypothesis, which is a social annotation tool. So I have put my books into Pressbooks and then my students can read and electronically annotate the readings, putting in their comments and their questions, and I can respond to them there with the text in front of us together. So um, that kind of uh, ability to have, uh, in an asynchronous environment, to have this back and forth, uh, this sort of discussion over the text uh, is, um, is something that I think is very possible in these new sort of open um, formats and um, is actually quite different than anything I was ever able to do in my face-to-face -face classroom. I think one of the things that's been one of the things that's really been um, great in my experience is is getting connections to other faculty in other places that are using OERs because the creative use of them right now is just um, astounding and fun and it links it's it's linked by some people who are very careful and methodical about their teaching practices to student learning in ways that are well documented. Um, and it's also just really energizing. Um, one thing that I have missed during the pandemic is opportunities to make professional connections and talk to people. Um, and um, I have, I wouldn't, you know, I don't have six new best friends, but <laughs> but I have I have a feeling of a professional supportive community here. Um, and that has been really valuable to me, just getting by just getting by, yeah.